Now I'm going to show you how you can get the gravity simulations that I've made. So one of the first way you can do is to try Google. And when you're on Google, you can try some keywords like 7.1 gravity force model basic JavaScript. And upon searching, it should be able to come out with a top hit and clicking on the first link. You will be brought to the simulation uh, that we create under the same family as the open source physics. And you can see from here that we have done some pretty cool uh, information on, for example, the sample learning goals. And when you click on the four teachers tab, oh sorry, for the about tab, then you can read up on how we wanted the learning to be supported with. And uh, if you're interested to run the simulation, you just click on the icon and it will render it in the full screen. So one of the first thing that you can do is you can actually change the slider, which will then change the magnitude of the force, the, the magnitude of the mass. And you can also change vice versa for the other mass. And you can see that the forces between the two masses are always equal and opposite. And you can also notice that there's this hint that tells you to drag on the positions of the masses, which then allows you to then drag and interact and get an intuitive feel about what gravity forces are like. So you can see as I drag it, the forces seems to be pointing in opposite direction towards each other. And you probably realize that this isn't quite that easy to understand so to enhance the learning of the simulation you should click on the play button to simulate what it really means so you can find that when it simulates this the two objects will move together uh, in a rather uh, obeying the physics law so what will happen if this mass 2 is uh, a lot smaller let's say 10 kilograms whereas m1 is 100 kilograms and now you can see when you click play the physics of it is uh, rendering it where you can find that the heavier mass actually accelerates lesser towards the right which is towards the other mass whereas the lighter mass which is m2 the green mass will have accelerated a lot larger distance as well as acceleration towards the left towards the red mass now with this you can see that this simulation is rendered in full screen which is rather pleasing uh, and I'm running this on my Android 3 uh, Android uh, Samsung Note 3 so you can see that there's this icon over here that is uh, going to render it in Android in full screen and this will allow a greater visualization and interactivity of which then you can now uh, play with the sim as if like it is an uh, Android app. Now this feature isn't supported on the iOS yet uh, because of Apple's uh, restrictions. But I hope that one of these days somebody can share the codes with me and I will be able to implement a full screen capability within the iOS browser. Thank you very much.